the Pharisee shuts the door of heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for August the 17, 2020, according to St. Matthew. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you lock people out of the kingdom of heaven. For you do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the sanctuary, that has made the gold sacred. And you say, whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gift that is on the altar is bound by the oath. How blind you are, for which is great, greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred. So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the sanctuary swears by it and by the one who dwells in it. And whoever swells by heaven, swears by the throne of God, and by the one who is seated upon it. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Who are these blind guides? Today, the Lord is calling the Pharisees and the scribes, that they shut the door to heaven to everyone. Is it not true that they are the very ones that desire the money. Those are the pastors, the shepherds. Those are the Roman priests, and unfortunately, a few of even of our Orthodox priests. On the, on the Orthodox side, I will explain to you very clearly that quite unfortunately, if somebody were to start collecting and charging money, an Orthodox priest, and not wanting to do as God commanded, he immediately would severe himself from the vine which is Christ, and would stop being simply a priest at all, even before his bishop know about it. Because then he would be going against the will of God, and when we are going against the will of God, we cannot stand before him. So it's so very easy and so very clear. On the other hand, those that purposely, and all of them, even, even the Orthodox priests, that by purpose, by con in conscience, have decided to do that, they betray God. But they that are the pastors, they that are the Roman priests, do it even more and in conscience. Because they think that they can grasp whatever it is for their own business. Those are the ones that will not attend you, that will not serve you unless you make payment to them. Those are the ones that are always wanting to charge you to see what profit they can make. The ones that do not want to work, the ones that do not want to fast, to pray, to do anything other than it's absolutely required by law to them to do. And you can see their lives, and you can see how they live. And you should not be fooled by them. Watch carefully whom you are following. And know beforehand that if you are following a Pharisee or a scribe, you will end up in hell. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.